the botanical condition through which cells give rise to various organs of plant responsible for growth is referred to as meristemesis. Meristemic tissues consist of actively dividing cells that lead to increase in the length and thickness of plant. This is the metaphor for my advocacy today from Rabbi on the worsening security situation in Nigeria. So I speak on the topic Olympotic Meristamesis. Nigeria is polarized with diverse crises, particularly as it relates to insecurity in the land. Insurgency started in the Northeast like a cell, and for lack of effective management of the aforesaid, it grew into full-scale terror. Violence like a cell assumed a meristem, thus engulfing the polity. Before now, kidnapping was not an offense under our laws because the act did not exist. Today, it is not just an offense, but one that carries with it a capital punishment because criminals now capitalize on the collapsed security architecture to subject citizens to terror of kidnapping, to fleece them of their hard earned income. In a mix of the aforementioned, there is a steady growth in vices today, and the list of crimes and negative influences are adding up incredibly from banditry to insurgency to kidnapping to headsmen's killing to armed robbery to rape, internal and external conflict and moral degeneration. Consequently, today, people are calling for the president's resignation, President Mama Rubari's re resignation. Having failed in his responsibility to protect Nigerians who he took an oath to defend. From the categories of persons calling for the president's resignation are clergymen who say they heard from God. Maybe we should take them seriously this time. Or what do you think? Except that they also heard from God when... They presented him, some of them presented him as a messiah of Nigeria in 2015. Where is our faith? The House of Representatives, in its usual weak resolution, is calling for a national conference. It had always opposed. This is the step lawmakers feel safe to take before commencing an impeachment proceedings against the president. The assignment to make laws and carry out oversight function bestowed on the National Assembly is strong enough to commence an impeachment proceedings without a national conference. Twitter was agog with calls for secession. The proponents of Biafra and the current call for the Dudua Republic is getting louder. The feeling that Nigeria is dragging some of her very progressive regions backward is becoming visibly clear by the day. But it is quite sad that the current government is completely clueless on what to do. My advocacy, therefore, is that the president must lead from the front and free himself from tribal jingoism, nepotic acculturation, and selective amnesia, where the so-called repentant Boko Haram members are given soft landing and sometimes sent abroad for training, but IPOB, a peaceful sociocultural group is proscribed as a terrorist organization. Where Pantami, a self-professed supporter of terrorism, is condoned by the government. But Fadambaka, a garrulous clergyman, is threatened and reprimanded for daring to speak the truth. Government must stop playing politics with the lives of Nigerians. It is dirty, unacceptable, repugnant to natural justice, equity, and good conscience. The security problem in Nigeria is engulfing the nation, and the government must watch it and act fast. I don't talk my own. These are my hands. Uncuff me. I shall go to Rabbi again.